Hades 2 was surprise released into early access just a few days ago and a lot of people are asking what has improved to the first one and more importantly should I even care for this game in early access? Let's answer that in the newest episode of More Thoughts. First things first, the biggest question is should you actually play Hades 1 before you play Hades 2? And the answer is yes, definitely. Like this is not even oh, there will be some throwbacks and you will meet some of the older characters and you would just be reminiscent of it. This is a true sequel. Like, Hades 2 is picking up at the point where Hades 1 ended. Well, a few years into the future. But everything you have been doing in Hades 1 is very important in Hades 2. And interestingly enough, at least right now, there is no explanation. The game is not taking the time to explain to you what happened in Hades 1, right? And then, of course, you will meet a lot of the old characters. You will see a lot of the old areas. And you just don't want to miss out on that. Like, as I said, play Hades 1. And it's absolutely worth it. Now, with that said, what has changed in Hades 2? A lot. No, seriously. A lot. Uh, it feels better, you have now resources you can farm, you have more weapons, more abilities, like one of the most important stuff is now you have mana, right? And you can actually completely run a wizard build, a range build, and that will cost mana and you have to manage the mana. Now, don't you worry, if you are somebody who is just thinking, smash, then um, you will have your two-handed axe, you will have like some daggers and all that. So you have weapons and builds where you don't have to think about the mana at all, where you don't have to be a range fighter. Um, so you don't have to worry about it. It is but an option now because in the first one, if you wanted to do a range build, uh, it was semi-optimal to say the least. Um, it wasn't too great, all things considered. And yes, there were some range builds which were pretty strong, but they were also more like melee builds with a range weapon. It was a little bit bizarre sometimes. But nonetheless, in this case, we have now actual range builds and they feel fantastic. Actually, one of the range builds I was running was carrying me to the end boss of the game. Yes, in early access, you can already defeat the end boss of the game. There are tons of biomes there. Uh, they are not doing what they did in the first Hades where you only had the first two biomes and then you had to wait till the release till you could actually fight the big bad. Uh, they are not doing it this time. And they even have an end game mechanic now in the game, which is more like an endless arena fight thingy. I don't want to talk too much about it because, well, a lot of the gameplay elements are very close to the story. So you have to be careful what you are explaining because spoilers. Um, there's also the ultimates are back. And the ultimates are a little bit crazy. So in the first one, you would get the ultimates from the different gods. Right now, there is only one character which will give you multiple different ultimates. And when you have chosen an ultimate and meet that character again, you will not get a second ultimate. What they would do, though, is they will unlock the talent tree of that ultimate. Yes, every ultimate has their own talent tree. A little bit like Last Epoch, if you have played that. And that's, that's just insane, right? And then, of course, you have all the options with the different weapons. And they have now a talent system in the game. So in the first one, you had the Mirror of Darkness, where you could just up your stats, right? And now they did go to a tarot system where you are unlocking cards and you have an energy pool. So let's say you have 16 points in that energy pool and every card costs a specific amount of energy points. So there's a card which costs 1 power, 2 power, 4 power, 6 power, and so on and so forth. And when you reach the cap of the energy pool, you cannot put any more cards in and you have to choose which card you want to have with you. And that opens up tons of insane builds you can just try out and they're really, really fun, right? And of course, there are uh, new gods everywhere which give you new boons. They are also now like elements. So every, every boon is coming with an element like fire, water, earth, and so on and so forth. And by combining them, you 
the game is basically teaching you on how to get like special attacks and duo attacks and it's again really cool system they have really built up on it and they are not done they have already said yeah we have more biomes coming in we have more weapons coming in and i'm a little bit concerned about the length of a run um normally in hades one when you were still pretty early on a run would take about 30 to 40 minutes when you take your time and depending how good you were but now a run takes more like an hour now granted i'm still very early on i'm still getting my bearings about the game even though i'm already like what 20 hours in or something uh which is all things considered still pretty early but it still feels longer and they want to add another biome and i'm like Phew, okay but as i said you can already defeat the ambos of the game or well the ambos we are knowing of and there is tons of stuff here now that leads us to the second question should you play and care this for this game in early access yes but also no the reality is this game in early access is very good it's a eight nine out of ten if i would have to use a scale system it's it's fantastic so much content there so much stuff there which just feels right i didn't have a single bug i didn't have a single performance issue like holy moly i'm running around with like 300 fps <laughs> and i'm not using any upscaling whatsoever right and i'm at uh 40 p so yeah there's there's an insane amount of room going up and an insane amount of room like how much uh it would take to go down to 60. i mean they're even steam deck verified in early access and the game looks absolutely gorgeous but why am i saying don't bother with this game in early access because it's not done yet there is so much placeholder there there's a lot of art which is placeholder like they are doing the old um roped characters again when they don't have an art yet for that character right they're doing that or they are sometimes just putting placeholder stuff into the game like there is this one moment before you are fighting the emperor there's like a huge gate and <laughs> that gate is just sketches right it's just a sketch of the art uh, you will also see a lot of sketches as a backdrop and you, you can see that also a lot of the gods are not done yet when it comes to the details of so on some of the gods and in general like there's still tons of stuff missing and the same was true for the first game right when you played hades one it already felt pretty good in early access but it was a completely different thing when the game finally released and the same is true for hades 2 like it already feels good but in a year this game will be bonkers like it's already good and it will become bonkers in a year when it releases so if you don't really have a game or you just want more hades in your life um hades 2 is good and you should definitely support the developers 100 percent. they earned that but if you're somebody who has enough other games right now and just want to get the finished perfect product just wait it's the best thing you can do with that said thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like and also if you're new to the channel you want to see more um, role play games roguelikes a little bit here with hades which is also an role play game in my opinion and of course survival games you should subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet thank you so much for your support stay safe and i'll see you next time